hey, hey. Sunday morning, switching things up. Time to focus our energy, see what's going on with the week ahead. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come join our group. Yeah, we have so much cosmic energy coming in. Great amount of energy for June, July, and August. All that energy is coming in. So come join me. Let's talk about it. Let's center our energy and let's look at some cards for some guidance this week. Definitely so much energy coming in. We're moving through the transitions. We're ending spring, opening up. Summer solstice is coming in another 10 days, maybe on the 20th, coming forward. We have a new moon coming in this week. So come on in and join me and let's see what's going on for you. Pick a few cards. Definitely. I'm going to go ahead and share this out. Maybe you'll do the same. Just hit that share button. Maybe there's somebody in your circle of friends that could use a little encouragement, that could use a little bit of coming back to center. It was so important, so important right now. I know there's been crazy energy all of this year. I know for myself, I'm finally coming out of some of what I've been moving through, and I feel so much better. I feel so much lighter. You could do that too. There are tools that you can use. There's ways to center your energy that you can find that will help you to move through whatever it is that you're going through. And you don't have to do it alone. We've had so much energy coming up this last week with the deaths and the, gosh, just the news going on of people with, ugh, you know, Kate Spade. And it's just sad, but you don't have to do this alone. You can reach out. And I have found that spiritual development, checking in with your soul, checking in with that can really help you to understand where you are, the addictions in your life, and how to really get to that root cause. That what is so important, really finding that root cause of what's going on. I know for myself, until I did, it just kept getting worse and bigger and bigger. But once I got to what it was, so much has opened up for me. I still have more healing to do. I do. But the energy is shifting and the energy is moving. And we have the opportunity to do that with all of the transits coming up, with this new moon that's coming forward. Let me share this out. Share. Here we go. Yes, we really have so much that we can do. All right, let me go ahead and put it in the group. If you're not in my Empowered Spirit Circle, come on over. It's a great way to talk to people, to be in, in a group, to learn share articles, share information, all the many things that are coming up. Here we go. Empowered Spirit Circle. You can find it on Facebook. And I'll post a link. I think I forgot. I'll post a link. All right. There we go. I've got it going on. Here we go. All right. So hit the share button. Hey, Brett. Hey, Patrick. Good morning. Beautiful out there. We had such a huge rain last night. It's at Ark Stories. What a fun night. K-Man is kaboom. And everybody in the Pride Parade, too. Everybody's just drenched. So much heat. The electrical energy going on. The ah, lightning and then drenched. And it's still pretty wet out there. I do have some of my beautiful gardenias. Kind of the last on the branches. Everything was so heavy this morning. But it is beautiful. It's a little cooler. I'm sure we're going to go back up there in that heat today. So how is everyone? What are you noticing? Right? Good morning, Brett. What are you noticing for you? And that's kind of what the words we're looking at this month. Be aware. Be awake. Really important. When we can look at what's going on in our lives, we can open up. I know it's so easy. I know I posted yesterday about stuffing stuff down and just being too busy and just keeping moving and going. But gosh, it just keeps building and building and building. And that's why we reach to our addictions to cover it up because there's so much energy that we just can't deal with it. So when we start to go beneath the surface and when we start to really work with the tools that we have, we can move through. I know for myself, like in my last podcast with Teresa, Teresa Brooks, we were talking about handwriting, how much I've been doing since March, writing and slowing down and asking those questions and working with what's there and offering gratitude. It helps to get to it and it helps to start to break it up so that it can bubble up, bubble out, and then you put in new energy so that you can be refreshed to move forward in your life. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. It's really not. And for someone that's just gone through some stuff for herself, me, hello, even as a spiritual teacher, well, none of us are perfect. You know, and as we were talking about in our leadership group this weekend, what's in me is in you. 
and what's in you is in me. We just express things at different times. So reach out, get some help, join the group, come over and let's talk about these things. Hey, Syl, how are you? Let's talk about some of the stuff that's going on beneath the surface, the struggles in life. We're all going through shifts. Things are changing. So let's work together. There's so many opportunities coming up. We're going to see in the energy coming forward. Wednesday, we have the new moon coming in. It's a super new moon, the first one of three coming forward, June, July, and August. So lots of possibilities. It's time actually now to really look at what your visions are. What did you put out in January? Has it worked? Can you refresh it? I know for me, I've shifted. I'm going on a new path. So refresh those, those dreams. Refresh those visions. So Wednesday, when that new moon comes in, it's a super moon because it's close to the earth. Put your intentions out there. Write them down. Write them down. In script, be slow about it. Really intend. Feel the energy coming in. It's time to set it forth. If you do, if you put your in new intentions out there, your dreams, your visions, you will see them manifest by the end of the year by being awake, by being aware of all the many signs in your life. Course correct as we move through. We don't have to just throw it out or think we're desperate. Just shift the path a little bit. I know that's what I've been doing for myself. All right, one of the crystals you can use during this time, this is a generator. All right, it's got that nice flat edge right here. Put your intentions in it. This is actually a Lumarian generator. And then this reflects out, magnify it, put those intentions in. These are beautiful crystals to use right now during this new moon that's coming in. Now we have a little bit of that dark of the moon coming up before we get to it, right? So you're going to feel a little bit of that on Monday and Tuesday, a little bit of that darkness. I noticed when I woke up this morning, like before I was fully awake, I could feel it like, wow, you're feeling so good. And so I had to just run my energy and just release it out and refresh and remind myself that new moon's coming on Wednesday. So that's another tool that you can do for yourself before you even get out of bed. Check in. How do I feel? And then offer a little gratitude. I'm grateful for this day. I'm grateful for the people that I will encounter. I'm grateful for my struggles. Don't push them away. When we open up to them, that's where we learn. That's where we learn our lessons and that's when we can come forward and move in our life. Really important. Nothing stays the same. So why not be aware of what your shifts are? Why not be awake to what it is you're moving through? Really important. Very important that we do that. It really is helpful. So get your generator. Put your intentions in on Wednesday. Write them out and then release them right out into the universe. That's what we do. No attachments, no judgment. That leaves you the room to open up to what it is. Really important. Big old super new moon coming in. We don't see the new moon, right? But we'll feel it. All right, so some people have different responses to it. I know for me, I get really excited at the new moon. I feel really positive. Full moons, I get a little fuller, a little bit more of that emotional energy. Sometimes I can feel the sadness. But during that new moon coming up, we're going to have that possibility of doing it. Check in with the cosmos. Go outside and look around. Just reminded Venus is in the night sky. That's your beauty. That's your art. That's your love. Summer is all about love. We're coming into the summer solstice. So it's a chance to really... Drop the shit from the spring. Whatever isn't working. It's like we go into our gardens, right? Do that with your soul. Do that with your spirit. What isn't working? What can you just say, enough, I'm done. Cut the cord, send it back. Be done with it. And then you can open up to the new energy. Sun is about, uh, summer is about passions and fires and desires of doing stuff that you really want. It's also about sitting back a little bit and offering that opportunity to grow. We can't sit there and watch our plans, right? We can't will them to grow, but we can come back to them and notice, notice. So it is about finding the opportunity to really be still, be quiet, get in your hammock, lay down, take a sun bath, not too much, take a sun bath, take a moon bath, but do this opportunity for your yourself that self-care summer is so good for it. get in the water go for a hike right that's one of my favorite things to do get my feet in the water and walk right really good opportunity and that is exactly what summer is about so we shift the energy as it comes up which I think frees us I think it gives you that opportunity just to come back into alignment. Check in with your diet. What's not working? Get into the juices and the smoothies and the freshness of what the season offers you. That will help too. Sometimes we can carry all that old energy and even in our diet, we can get sluggish and tired and not feel like we don't feel like doing anything. But now's the time to make those shifts. It really is. And the energy of the new moon will help you do that. That's coming in on Wednesday. So the next couple of days, just notice, we call it the dark of the moon. Just 
Just notice that you might feel a little bit of that darkness, but don't despair. Do something in the morning. Breathe. All right. I've been using that, that mantra. I am here now in this. We breathe in on the I, exhale on the am, in here on the here, exhale on the now, inhale on the in, and exhale on the this. Beautiful. It puts you in that present moment. Puts you where you need to be aware and be awake to your life. Thank you to Akasha. Akasha gave me that meditation a couple of weeks ago. I find it so peaceful. Really, do it. Seven minutes. It'll shift the brain waves. It will really help you to do that. All right, so let's just take a moment and let's do a meditation and let's bring that energy in. Just enough to give you a little shift of energy. So wherever you are, if you can, take a deep inhale and exhale out. Bringing the energy in, centering that spiritual body, right in alignment with the physical body. Feel the alignment coming in. Pull your energy in from the weak. Pull it in. It's been scattered all around. Just pull it right into the center. Open up. And as you breathe, breathe up from the universe. Open up to the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, bring it back down. Deep into the earth. Feel your feet on the earth. Let Mother Earth support you. Inhaling. And exhaling. Send it down deep into the earth. Inhaling, align with the cosmic energy. It's there. The stars have been there beyond us. Bring that wisdom in. Bring their vibrations in with you. Inhaling. Call in your spiritual guidance. Call in the higher guidance for yourself. Call in the angels, your masters, whatever it is for you. Let that be your guidance for this week. Take a deep inhale, breathing in the I. Exhale out, am. Breathe in here. Exhale out now. Breathe in in. Exhale out this. Just feel the energy coming in. Let that continue. You can do it as long as you want. Feel the vibrations. Feel yourself centering. It's like in Reiki we teach just for today. It has that same energy to pull you in. And let us just honor. Here we are at the last of the spring. In the medicine wheel, we sit right at the east, very close to the south. And we honor that transition in time. So let us honor those directions in your own life. They each hold an energy. We honor the east. We honor the south, the west, and the north. We honor above us, Father Sky. We honor below us, Mother Earth. And we honor the very center of our spirit, of who we are. Inhaling and exhaling. Acknowledging the change of seasons coming. Acknowledging the ability to find the courage, yes, Patrick, to shift the life. You can do it. You really can. These tools work. Inhaling. And exhaling, bringing this peaceful energy in as we go to look for guidance for this week, drawing from the wild unknown. If you didn't pick a card yet, choose one, two, or three. The universal card, very interesting because we drew this last week. I was up at the I was up at the sweat lodges, but here we go. This is the six of swords. So this is all about this universal card for all of us, all about moving into calmer times, really releasing the darkness, let it rise up so you have that rainbow in your life. It's all about moving away into better times. Take a break, take a vacation. I did this last week. It was so empowering for my spirit. Just a mini vacation, maybe just a vacation from your routine or get away. It will help to refresh. I know it did for me. So how can you do that as you move through this week? These cards are going to help you to support that. All right. The first card, if you chose it, I love this, is Seven of Wands. This is all about that courage. Yes, that courage to shine your light. That courage to stand in the energy of who you are without judgment from other people. Know yourself. Shine your light. Have that courage. Doesn't make you better. Doesn't make you worse. But when you shine your light, you give everybody else a permission to do the same. Have the conviction. Have that inner strength to move forward in what it is you need to do right now. It really is important. Do it. Stand on your edge. Have the light. Open up. Really beautiful card. I love it. Let that light shine from within. 
Really important. All right. And as you do, that's going to help you to shift whatever darkness is there. All right. Beautiful card for this week. Look for those signs of you standing and shining your light. Really important. If you chose card number two, this is the Father of Cups. All right, this is all about that creative energy, that really standing strong, that really person that supports the community, supports their family. It's also about that empathic nature that we have. All right, men have this too. Fathers have this too. So where can you be in this empathic nature of who you are and really open your heart? Now, the only thing that this card reminds us is not to get into the insecurities. All right, the insecurities of being intuitive, the insecurities of taking in too many other people's energy. All right, so know your boundaries when you have have this empathic energy very important but this is a beautiful card as you move through this week where can you support others where can you offer that empathic heart by keeping your boundaries where can you offer that creative energy as well love this card and that too will help you shift out of the darkness and move forward into a greater energy calmer more peaceful more loving all right the third card is probably the most perfect card here right with the moon because that moon energy is coming up for us this is a major arcana right that's what we call this now this is about helping you to tap into that inner light within you the intuition all right where your dreams are where you can vision and that's what the energy you need this week as that new moon comes in now also this can remind us that sometimes it can feel like darkness sometimes it can feel a little scary because there is that darkness especially these next couple of days coming Coming in but gosh last week in the medicine lodge the thing that I kept hearing was open your eyes the darkness isn't scary and I'd open my eyes in the lodge and it was just like yes and so I remember that now as I go through dark times just open my eyes be awake be aware and the light will shine it will get brighter so as you open up to this moon energy open up to your intuitive abilities we all have them we just have to train them Open up and trust it. The more you work with it, the more you will train it. And when we have these super moons, it reminds us of that. And if we're not in that energy, it can be a little scary. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh my, should I do this? Should I not? And we get a little wishy-washy. But no, train it. Some of the transits coming in in the middle of June with that Neptune energy. So I've read and heard that it's going to encourage you to have a spiritual development practice. It's going to encourage you to learn something new, to really tap in. They're also talking about new modalities coming in. How interesting is that? We've been talking about that for a while. It's been projected that we'll have this opportunity. So for all of us that are in this world, all of us that are working with these modalities, keep teaching, keep doing what you're doing. Even if nobody shows up, even if one person, one person is awesome. Yogi Bunjan started that way in a huge gymnasium, one person one person and he kept going so i encourage you to do the same put your work out there create your circles create your classes just keep doing it get out of the mind right i know it's hard to sometimes but just keep showing up for this work really we need this we need this we need this this is what's going to make a change this card here is reminding us of all of that energy. It can seem dark. We can get a little scary, but have the courage to know your intuition. How is it? Do you see? Do you hear? Do you feel? Do you know? Know it. Because that's what's going to help move this energy out so that we can all live in a more peaceful time. We can have these skills. We can have these tools to help us heal. We don't have to rely on medicines, right? On drugs, on all those opiates. We don't have to do that. We can have things to replace these addictions in our life that have to do with tapping into our soul work, meditating, yoga, dancing, being creative, drawing, painting, all these things that can help us. They're so important in our lives. Don't forget to include them in yours. So as you go through this week, release the darkness. Monday and Tuesday, we're going to feel that. Wednesday, the new moon's coming in. Come join me over at Birmingham Yoga. I'm going to be doing a new moon Reiki circle. We're going to be setting intentions. Please come join me, 5.30 to 6.30. Great time. We'll use some Reiki to really set out our intentions and honor that energy. All right, and then as we go through Thursday, you still have some chance to feel that newness in your life all the way into the weekend as we open up to the super new moon coming. All right, what are your visions and what are your dreams? Really important. This week on the Empowered Spirit Show, I have oh, I have the honor of interviewing Linda Mays Welch. She has her single Mother's Empowerment Conference coming up June 23rd, a couple of Saturdays from now. It's down at the McLean Center. If you are a single mom and you need support and help, Right now, you can go on their website and for $20, get a ticket. It's a full day. There's going to be mentoring and there's going to be workshops and talks. I'm going to be speaking myself. 
There's going to be so much support. If you're a single mom, if you know a single mom, if you know a teenage single mom, send them over there. It's at the McWayne Center, Single Mothers Empowerment. I talked to her on the interview about all the great people that are coming together to support this. It is her advocacy to help other single moms. So important. So be sure and check it out. You can meet people, talk to people. Maybe you have an idea you need to put out there and need support in doing that. It's definitely a great way to do it. So that will episode will air this week as well. I have a Reiki one coming up on Saturday. I've got like two spots left, so come join me for that as well. All right, so how's everybody doing? Anybody need a card? i got to run for a yoga class. Time for my yoga, but if anybody wants a card, just let me know right now. Put it in the comments below. All right, otherwise, check it out. I am enrolling my summer session for the Empowered Spirit program. I put a link in that. Ask me about that. Come check it out as well. All right. All right, A, yes, absolutely. I look forward to seeing you this week, A. Andy. All right, Andy. I know you have a lot going on. Let's draw a card for you. The Ace of Cups. All right, this is great for you because you're in such new beginnings. So know that this energy is there. Refresh that energy for you and just really keep tapping into it. I know you have a lot going on, making all these switches and changes, but you're a newlywed, so tap into that. Beautiful card to remind you of all that new energy coming in, especially as things get a little challenging over the next couple of weeks. Put the energy out there. Renew it, definitely. All right, Patrick, let's draw one for you too. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. All right, so this is about something coming to an end, all right, which is a great card for right now as we move through the transition. So it reminds you to really let go of what it is. Maybe some project is coming to a finish and you're kind of hanging on to the loose ends. Tie it up, finish it out. That way you can start into a new beginning for you, especially as you move into the new moon and move into the summer. All right, maybe you know what this is, maybe you don't, but look around for signs on how you can finish up any loose ends, pull it together. It's been good, but the energy now is over. Refresh the energy. We all hold on to stuff way too long, so let it go. All right, this is about the passions and desires. So maybe it's a project that you need to just finish. All right, I know you're very creative. All right, anybody else? Yay, definitely, good cards. All right, guys. So take this energy out into the week. Look for signs of how you can move into calmer waters for yourself. Don't forget to set your intentions for this new moon energy. Check it out, reach out. Remember, if you're struggling, you don't have to do this alone. Reach out for help. Tapping into the spirit, and having a spiritual practice gives you the courage. It really does. The courage to just move through. If you don't know how to create a spiritual practice, come on over to my website, Terry Ann Hyman, and download my new guide, Five Simple Steps to Setting Up a Spiritual Practice. Put in spiritual practice below, hashtag spiritual practice, and I'll send you that guide. All right? Check it out. We can do this. Yes, you can, and you can reach out for support. I'm here to help. That is my purpose, bringing this out into the world and helping those around. All right, guys, share this with somebody you know. Have a great weekend. It's beautiful. Get outside. Thanks for joining us. Come join us in the circle. To your spirit, namaste.